you guys, my name's Ben, I'm back for your third uh, Java game development tutorial sort of thing. So, in here, we're going to make um, something. Oh, I'm just thinking, right, so public rectangle, we're going to make a, a rectangle, uh, which is basically a rectangle, we're going to call this the character. And the character is going to be equal to a new rectangle. Rectangle and the rectangle char uh, character and the rectangle is going to where should we place it? We'll place it at uh, main dot w divided by or actually if we just place it at one eighty by 180 and then we're going to want to do make two new ints up here so public int char char height um and that's going to be or char char just put make that char w that's going to be equal to well, let's make that 24 and then public int char h which is going to be equal to 36 so and then here we're just going to put char w char h now it's better using these sorts of variable things because you can change them easier instead of having to use this it's also just better programming in general so uh that's that now we're going to want to add in our key listener so the thing knows what we're doing but before we do that we're going to want to put in our paint methods so public void paint component and in here we put graphics g now i bet you're wondering like we haven't called this method at all so how would it know when to do it so because it extends jpan look it looks for this paint component Component method. See, look if I highlight that, it highlights that as well. So that's what that comes from. And G is basically um the graphics. We can draw things with it basically. So let's do super paint component G, just like that. And let's do this dot dot set background color dot black. So the background will be black. Hopefully, if I run this. Yep. Uh, so the background's black, and let's g dot set color. So what this set color does is, is whatever we paint after we do the set color, it's going to be the said color. So let's do color dot um, let's do white, just to make it, you know, contrasting. So g dot fill rect. Now you can also do draw rect, um, which is basically, it, what is it? What can I call it? Uh, draw rect is the outline of the rectangle, but it's the fill rect is um it it's full rectangle so we're gonna be able to see it easier. So character dot x character dot y char w or I can actually just do character dot width and then character dot height. Now if you're wondering where I got all these things from, it's when we made this rectangle and when you make the rectangle it's gonna make all these things if I do character dot it's going to get, that's the x, y, width, height. So it's just putting them here. So I could just put in those numbers, but I'm not going to because it's better programming. So that's all we're going to want to do there. So if I run this, there should be that there. Um, but we can't move it yet. So basically, what we're going to want to do is do f dot add key listener. Um... And what this key listener is, is it basically, uh, like a, if you ever watch my bucket ones, it's like a player listener. So it, it listens for the keys, basically. It works out what the keys are doing. So what we have to do here is new, do new key adapter. And then uh, open that up, like that, and put a semicolon on there. Uh, let's import that. And then we're going to want to make 
a method called public void uh, key pressed. Now, uh, you can change that to key listener, but then you'd have to use lots of methods. Key adapter means you only have to use certain certain methods, and then we do key event e. So that's um, we can use everything from our key event here uh, using e. So e if if the key was a certain thing for us to work out what the key was, we do e dot um, uh, get key and stuff. So what we do is if e dot get key code. So if the key code is equal to key event dot and uh, I think we're going to use wsad. So if it was equal to uh, key event dot right. So here you do vk underscore and then the thing you want. So d. So we got d. So if it was that uh, up here we're going to want to do two booleans. So public boolean right. And that's going to be equal to false. And public boolean left, which is going to be equal to false. So if it's D, that's the right key. So right is going to be equal to true. Just like that. And we are going to want to do that. That's it. So what we then do is underneath that we do if... Actually, wait, no, no. I was right the first time. We do character dot x. So we're getting the x axis of these character. So because we're drawing this character where this rectangle is, if we got the x axis of this character and we made it plus equals one, which means we're adding one onto it, it's going to go right. Let's see what happens. So if I press D, nothing happens. Oh, I know why. Okay, never mind. Um, let's, uh, I'll, t I'll tell you in a second why that didn't work. But basically, uh, we're going to do if e dot get key code is equal to key event um, vk underscore a. We want to do uh, left is equal to true. And character dot x minus equals one so it's taking one away from the x-axis um and that's all i think we're going to want to do for now anyway um before we get onto the mouse or sort of stuff so let's make another public void uh key released so key pressed is done when the key is pressed we want to do it when the key is released this time. So key event e. So if e dot get key code is equal to key event dot vk underscore d. So basically, if d was taken off, then right will be equal to false. Um, and then after that, um, I think we do. If e dot get key code is equal to key event dot vk underscore a, um, then left is equal to false. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Cool. I'm just going to want to remove those things. I've just realized we don't actually need them. So down here is where we're going to want to paint it, isn't it? Because we're in the paint area. So if right is equal to true, so we can just do if right, then we're going to want to do character dot x uh, plus, plus equals 1. Uh, but if left is equal to true, then char character dot x minus equals 1. Just like that, and then to make it sure that it will actually uh, show it, because sometimes it won't show it, what you do is something called you repaint the screen. So that's a method built into uh, JPanel and JFrame. So now if we run this and I press my left and right left and right mouse button, if I can maximize the screen and it will just move, it's going to 
do that. If you can see that, I'm not quite sure if you can or not. Um, I'll just minimise it so I know you can see it. There we go. So, yeah. That's basically all we're going to do for this tutorial. Uh, that was moving things on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we're going to be doing about mouses.